Welcome, sisters and brothers, to Praying Through the Psalter, a brief daily meditation upon the great 150 prayer songs of the Bible. Today, in our devotional 110, please turn with me to Psalm 111. Psalm 111. As we turn to Psalm 111, I'll remind us once again of how we chiefly interpret the Psalter. They are the prayers of God from his heart to the heart of his people on earth to become our prayers to be returned to him in praise and thanksgiving. Secondly, the Psalter teaches us how to pray and what to pray for. And thirdly, every Psalm is Messianic. It reveals in one way or another our Lord and Savior, Jesus, the Messiah. Psalm 111 is... Um, is another wonderful prayer that that is also an acrostic prayer. Now we're familiar with that term, I'm sure. It means that uh, it it builds and is built upon the alphabet of the Hebrew language, and so there are 22 uh, lines of Psalm 111. Each line then begins with a successive. Uh, letter from the Hebrew alphabet. So, for example, the first line in the psalm is praise the Lord. Well, in the, in the Hebrew, the word praise is aleph from the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And then I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. That's the second part from the Hebrew letter bet and so forth and so on. And so it's a short psalm, which is 22 lines. Um, and each one, though, beginning with one of the letters of the Hebrew alphabet, teaches us by its very structure and construction about completeness and fullness. And so Psalm 111 is about praising God for all that he has done for us, for his amazing grace. And so then the very structure of Psalm 111 says our praise to him is to be perfect because he is the God who is perfect and has perfectly worked to save us from sin, death, and the devil. So both content and structure of Psalm 111, both are very important to us. So Psalm 111 begins with the praise of God. Verse 1, Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright, in the congregation. And then verses 2 through 9 then um, uh, proclaim why we praise God. Why? Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. Why do we praise? Full of splendor and majesty is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. Why do we praise? He has caused his wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Why do we praise? He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. Why do we praise? He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the inheritance of the nations. Why do we praise? The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. Why do we praise? They are established forever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. And finally, verse 9, why do we praise the Lord? He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. A marvelous short summary of the grace of God working all things for our salvation. And then the psalm ends in verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. A short, beautiful, powerful song bringing us into the praise of God for his grace and for his salvation for us. And so you see here in Psalm 111, uh, God is praised for his redemption and his care. How much more now that we live on this side of the cross, this side of the resurrection, are we to praise God? We praise him because he has sent Jesus into the world. 
He was incarnated. He lived a sinless life. He died and suffered for us. He rose again on the third day. He's ascended to the right hand of the Father where he will come again. How much more do we, living now almost 2,500 years, 3,500 years after King David, how much more? After all these years since Psalm 111 was written, do we have to praise God? Let our praise today be perfect. Let us ruminate and meditate and give thanks for, to God for all the ways that he has proven his grace to us. And let our hearts praise him. No matter our circumstances, let us find many ways to praise God today. That would be a great way of making this beautiful song our prayer from our hearts. May the Lord bless you and keep you, dear brothers and sisters. May he make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his grace, his shalom, his peace, now and forever. In his holy name we pray.